We're looking forward to the progress on the shop this week. Yes, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We might have discovered the perfect method and mix for our air creep pavers that we're putting up on the side of this building. So stay tuned, it'll be a little later in the episode, but stay tuned for that. Super excited to share yeah, with you. wall was way down here wasn't it yeah you guys did a ton there. yeah you doubled it or more excellent can i take your order please in building with earth bags, we discovered our family thrived creatively and grew stronger by working side by side. We welcome you to be part of our family for this week's adventure. Now that the walls have reached a really decent height, it's time to figure out where the roof is going. We need to get it square with the building and everything. Starting my layout now for the long truss beams that are going to be going along each side of the building that the roof sets on. So these are going to be post markings and these are going to be markings for the ties that tie those rails back into the building. Need to put a cleat there. All right, that's that. That one goes in. Can you see it? See, yeah, but I think I can see it. Okay, so. Eight foot, 10 foot, eight. Okay, 10 foot 8 it is. looks like I'm playing on my phone while mom is working hard, but actually I am trying to get somebody to come and pick up something that's on our property. And I'll talk about that in just a second, but trust me, I'm working. Our good friend and neighbor donated these really cool metal beams that are gonna work fantastic as support for our roof on this earth bag hyper adobe shop that we got going on here. Bryson almost got bit by a rattlesnake. Uh oh. We took him though. We got him. These are your little tie thingies or posts? These might be posts. Like tall enough? Oh yeah. Our next step is figuring out where these posts go and we also have to figure out how they're going to be attached to the building itself because we want more support than just a singular up and down support. We want it to be connected to the building as well. Very good. Got to figure out where they're going before putting them in. Yeah. So we're adding a couple extra cleats here and there for so we can tie directly into the wall easily. Alright, what we're building? 
We are pulling together some cleats. These are kind of some special cleats because they have to hold the braces that go from the shop walls out to the truss beams that the roof holds on. These will set on top of the walls and they'll be set up to be backing for a brace that goes out to the walls that the roof sets on. If that makes sense. It'll become clear later. The, the beams that stick out the sides of the shop all around it. Yeah, they're... We they're... have to have a place to mount, to <clears throat> mount yeah. those beams to the shop. Exactly. They're more or less tying it in rather than uh, receiving any, any weight. weight. We have still quite a bit of junk that's sitting around the shop mm -hmm. and we thought this week we would do some cleaning, roll up our sleeves and make it happen. And we took a massive load of metal scraps up to the scrap yard, but we had like several mini, mini bikes. bikes and various ATVs mm -hmm. that we just, it just didn't feel right throwing them. Mm -hmm. So we put them up for free and somebody came and picked them up. So those actually ended up going to a new home. and. Yep. Maybe they might get out a road here mm -hmm. at some point in the future. We still got some cleanup to do, mm -hmm. but that pile has been a thorn in our side and it's nice that it looks nice now. Mm -hmm. Nicer. A little nicer. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be nice, nice now, but well, we're, getting well, we're getting there. Dad has been wanting a measurement buddy yeah. and uh, for the building here. Mm -hmm. Got our center line marked, huh? Yeah. So we pull the line out to here. You got trying to get the pillars situated. Yeah. For the roof. It would be nice to have a square corner to work from. Mm -hmm. It's a round building, sort of. But sorta. we do need a square corner. Yeah. So once we get this, that should help us get every single other corner. It looked like you guys were having a ball, mm -hmm. measuring stuff and squaring stuff out and doing the thing. It's great. The further I can get, the better. Okay, you got you got your end. Mm -hmm. Bryce, is that nice and tight? Yeah. Tighter. And we'll have to remeasure this a couple times just to make sure. Mm -hmm. All right, Bry. Uh, go that way. Twenty feet that way and sixty feet that way. That's I think not we'll bad. still be okay. Yeah. We're getting this front edge in line with the center line of the building that we drew the other day, and so we got this corner roughly there. Now we just need to get that corner, and then from there. Then we go to the other end of the building. All right, and here's my stuff I have to work with. So this is gonna go to Garen's room. With the extra air creep, we filled in some of these other pavers too. And one is the dog paw print. So what I'm gonna do on that one is put it up on Garen's building so that the pavers will match the little thing on the building itself. And then I'll probably put just three of them like it walks up the side of the building there and just stop. And then the rest, I, I figure what I'm gonna do is I ordered some pavers that just look like rocks and he always wanted that to look like a castle. So we're gonna fill those in and put those pavers up gray all around so it'll be just a big rock castle with the footprints going up the side. So today, we're gonna try another way. We are gonna use that. See if we can mix the air cream in that, huh? <laughs> it's a little heavier than a person would think. Now on to the air crete. Super excited about this part. Mm -hmm. So the first step, using the actual cement mixer, which I think we've had folks suggesting that we mm -hmm. use. Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you. Three gallons of water. Aqua. While that's pouring in, I'm gonna go get our, we do always a cup of lime. Mm -hmm. One cup of lime. Put the lime and the coconut mix in the air crete. Probably not. It's not an exact science, but just like a soul. Beautiful. And the second of three. We're getting on there. Its way. One half 
bag of Portland cement. Makes us look like we lift these all the time. Yeah. Yeah, guy's got nothing on us. Yep, yep, 90 pounds. We lift it with our pinkies. At least when it's half full. When it's half full. <laughs> yeah. We should start spinning this, huh? It's, it's, oh, are you putting it in there? Oh, yeah. yeah. We need to spin it before you do that. Don't mind me. I can lift this for a long time. Have you seen mom <laughs> curl some irons? I don't think you have yet. Your mind would be blown. <laughs> this woman could start her own fitness channel right in the blink of an eye. Yeah, you know it. And oh lifting bags. Don't mind me. I'm just holding this. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. That's why I'm saying it's going to make a mess. Oh, yeah. It's going to stick if we don't put it in. We get the mixer going, then we toss our half bag of Portland cement into the mixer. Sometimes the Portland cement gets stuck to the sides of the swirly swirly, so we do get in there and make sure that it's a nice even mix and there's no cement sticking to the sides mm -hmm. as best you can. Sometimes there just is and it is yeah. what it is. From there, we start putting in a bunch of suds. I don't know if the various sizes of buckets vary, but we estimate filling up the suds until the bucket is about halfway full. I think we ran it for maybe- Five to 10 minutes, right? Yeah, it might've been more like 10 to 15 minutes okay. when all was said and done. Mm -hmm. Misa yeah. likey. Our first scooparoo. Perfect. Nice and thick, especially the corners. I got them good. Thank you. I've been on it. You are on it. I knew what you wanted. You guys like switch places. You're much more cleaner, Bree. Whoa. Yeah. Hey, how does that mixture work? Unbelievably well. It is yep. probably the most evenly mixed. It took longer, I think, to you know, mix it, but it was good. Um, what we're looking for is to get enough in there to fill. We have 10 pavers, and we want to fill all 10 of those pavers if mm -hmm. possible. We ended up filling the pavers, plus like several more that we had. Yeah, in yeah the extra, extra walking stone pavers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is this the last one? How much more you got in there, Marie? Um, that is amazing it isn't, uh, it isn't bubbling away because that's usually what happens. Yeah, it's not sinking at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see how they turn out. Like if they turn out perfect, I think we should use this every time. Already, yeah, I'm happy I, with the mix. You know what? I think Let's I will see. order more of these. Okay. Because we could do, how many do you think we could do in a batch of this? Well, can do this. This I maxed it out. Should I get five more? Oh uh, yeah, honestly, that would get you yeah, five more hexagons. One, two, five, four. So, yeah, you can do four or five more. Yeah. Okay, are we ready? Should we go check the air crate? Huh? Let's go. Do you know where we're going, Luna? Huh? Do you know? Are you trying to figure it out? Huh? Are you trying to figure it out? Remember where we put the air crate, Luna? Are you confused? Luna, you're going the wrong way. She's gotta do some business over there. We'll leave her be. We're gonna take some air crate out today. See how well the last batch held, because I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be awesome. We've been messing around with this, trying to nail it down for a few months now. Yeah. And you can really see that progression. Okay, just to get an idea of the difference, this is very lightweight, but you can see it's much stronger with the new stuff. I can, I'll be able to put that up without cracking. As this one, you can see, um, um, it took very little to break that. And I could easily, if I wanted to, just break it again. It's very, it's extremely light. And uh, yeah, not very durable. So the porous far. ones, they'll be just fine. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna stain them. Okay, so I'm gonna bring these over and pop them out of the mold. This is the batch that we did two days ago. Lightweight, pops out easy. Pretty good on the side, needs to cure longer. Pretty lightweight. But in the past, I would already have cracking coming out. We've let these sit now for a couple of days. We like to get them out of the molds so that 
we can get started on our next batch. They probably could stay in there a little bit longer, but we find for the most part, they're strong enough that we can pop them out and let them sit for a little bit longer before chucking them up on the wall. Been from the dog stepping on it yesterday. The dog stepped on this one too. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, that one's still together. We did get one paver that did crack. We had a bunch of animals that walked all over these when they were wet, and we think that that's what happened with that one because the rest of them are perfect. We couldn't be more happy with the way these turned out. We're loving all of this wonderful air crete, yeah. and we're loving the look of it up on that wall. I can't wait to see what the whole building looks like with those. Oh, it's going to, it already looks really cool. Yeah, it really does. It's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, that one's together, but that's all of it. so nice that we've narrowed down what we're doing for the air creek that's been uh, just a lot of little adjustments like mm -hmm. everything we've been doing has worked but we just kind of want to nail it down more yeah now that we've got our mix really good mm -hmm. they just they're so much more solid and the weight's not distributed amongst them unevenly we also have the roof all lined up and mm -hmm. figuring out what we got to do there we'll be pouring concrete yeah. on those posts hopefully soon get them going it's gonna be fun mm -hmm. sure appreciate you hanging out with us and being a part of our family uh, we want to give a special thank you to our patreon supporters thank you so much for your financial support if you'd like to give a buck or two a month the link will be down there in the description that really helps us out around here and if you liked our, the show don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are already it really helps us out i think it lets the youtube algorithm know hey this is something people are enjoying, so mm -hmm. thank you for doing that. We want to wish all those brave soldiers who have served our great nation a happy Veterans Day. Thank you so much for your service. God bless you and your family. I know it's been a little while, but there won't be a podcast on Monday. The family's out of town. It's just not fun without them. Yes. So we're not going to do a, a podcast on Monday, <laughs> but we should have that gaming stream on Wednesday. Yes. And then hopefully the following week, we can get back to our regular schedule. So thank you for your patience with us. We sure appreciate you. Thank you for being a part of our family. And we look forward to hanging out with you next week for another fun My Little Homestead adventure. <laughs> have a good one. Bye. Bye. Family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. What has happened? What the hoo ha? <laughs> what the hoo ha? We, we have dog and a rabbit that decided to do a disco on our newly created Air Creek papers and it's unacceptable yeah we would, it, it's something that really gives you pause you know 